devant, qui vient euh, clôturer, qui vient clôturer, je vous en prie, monsieur, vous pouvez vous asseoir, qui vient clôturer le podium et le classement de la Golden Dome Race 2022-2023. Nous, les terriens, avons du mal à mesurer l'exploit que représente un tour du monde en 250 jours, 249 jours. J'ai hâte de connaître le détail précis et les calculs validés par Jean-Luc Vandenay du, du nombre de jours. Nous, les terriens, avons du mal à mesurer ce que représente cet exploit. Alors peut-être pour nous aider à le faire, évidemment, Michael va répondre à un certain nombre de nos questions, et de vos questions, et peut-être on peut aussi se souvenir qu'au jour du départ, ils étaient 16. 16. Et ils sont trois à finir le classement de cette course. Après Kirsten, magnifique vainqueur, qui a conquis le cœur des Sablés, mais, et qui a de la visite tous les jours sur le ponton, et des fleurs tous les jours. Après Kirsten, après Abilash, arrivé deux jours, arrivé deux nuits, sous le soleil, sous la pluie, sous les nuages, Michael est arrivé ce matin, dans le soleil levant. Il a visité, on a vu le tracker, une partie des eaux au large de la Vendée, pour, ne, pour profiter jusqu'à la dernière minute de, de la mer. Et finalement, ils ne sont que 3 sur 16 à conclure. 3 sur 16. C'est incroyable. C'est-à-dire que sur deux éditions, sauf erreur de ma part, ça fait 8 concurrents qui terminent la Golden Dome Race. Et sur trois éditions, si on inclut 1968, ça fait neuf marins qui ont réussi cet exploit incroyable de faire le tour du monde à l'ancienne, sans GPS, sans assistance, sans moyens de communication moderne, sans la possibilité d'appeler ses proches, sa famille, ses amis, et donc retrouver le surcroît d'énergie et de courage qui permet d'affronter la solitude et, et les éléments. Donc, euh, évidemment, euh, ça force euh, le respect des terriens, ça force euh, le respect des sablés et de tous les amoureux de cette aventure extraordinaire qu'est la Golden Globe Race. Et donc, avant de passer la parole à, à Michael et, et, et d'ouvrir le jeu de questions-réponses, je voulais à ce stade de, de l'événement remercier vraiment euh, du fond du cœur Don McIntyre, Jane, toute l'équipe de la Golden Globe Race pour avoir nous avoir permis de vivre avec eux ce rêve de cette aventure autour du monde et nous avoir embarqués au-delà de nos propres limites pour permettre à des hommes, à des femmes, à Kirsten, à Abilash, Michael, Simon et tous les autres, de vivre cette aventure hors norme. Peu importe ce qu'ils feront dans l'avenir en matière de voile, mais ils sont devenus des citoyens sablais, chers au cœur des sablais, et la ville des sables de est heureuse et fière d'avoir apporté un peu d'eau salée au moulin de cette entreprise incroyable, de cette audace incroyable, de cette passion incroyable qui, anie, qui unit au sein d'une même famille les organisateurs, les partenaires, les sponsors, les skippers, les teams et tous les sablais qui sont sur les quais pour vous accueillir lorsque vous revenez. Bravo, Michael. Bravo. 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 Je suis très, très heureux pour toi et très ému de, de voir arriver la fin de cette deuxième édition de la Colme de Bresse au Sable de The first had one finisher, uh, the second had five, and now we have three finishers. And uh, I think, first of all, it's uh, an amazing story that, that you've uh, uh, created, Michael, in, in your own right, which I'll talk about. But firstly, uh, um, for this uh, second recreation here in the Sable de Lone, thank you for uh, the support of the community and the, uh, the city officials and uh, Place Loire and Bondé region as well. Um, <coughs> The Golden Globe is unique in the world. 
And the first thing that I noticed in this edition sailing down through the Atlantic is the followers all around the world started to appreciate finally that it is such a strong, unique, crazy, ugly, difficult um, challenge. You know, it, it really is this one thing as my takeaway from this edition of the GGR. There's many, many more people and many non-sailors that see uh, the GGR as, as more than just a yacht race. It's a true adventure with an unknown outcome. I thought that we would have half the fleet finishing. So yes, it was a surprise for me. But uh, now we, uh, we have three finishes and uh, really, uh, you know, I sometimes even get lost for words. I see all the stories, all the characters, all the strong <coughs> sailors that left here and they've all gone. We left with three, you know. And uh, I think it tells us a strong story about planning, preparation, and execution. And Michael is the quintessential example of that, more so even than uh, many of the other skippers. Uh, the boats arrived in perfect condition. You look really healthy. Um, and uh, I think uh, you're also an expression of uh, uh, just getting on with the job. I refer to it again because I didn't see anything extreme in anything you did but you just kept going, just like Robin Knox Johnson in the first edition. And it's important to have that realisation that it's all up here. It's all just driving you forward. Uh, there are many reasons not to complete the GGR, but you just kept going, you know, and it was... Maybe more reason not to complete than to achieve. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's really your standout for me that you just kept going and were consistent and you finish the GGR and there's uh, 13 other sailors behind you. So it's really uh, uh, quite a story in its own right. And uh, yeah, I, I, I'm impressed, so well done. <laughs> as simple as that. Okay. If you want to say a few no, words no, 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 before no, questions, no, 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 questions are coming no, no, no. soon. Yeah, yeah, cool. As you wish. I don't need to talk, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But your smile is uh, expressing a lot. No, see, I can smile all day. <laughs> <laughs> Even under the shower? Yes, I will. I will. <laughs> okay. So, have you got any we questions? Have we have a microphone, and I, if there is translation, please speak slowly. Donc, donc euh, si vous voulez poser des questions, on a des microphones et la, et la traduction. Donc, si vous voulez parler euh, distinctement pour faciliter les échanges. First question. Oh, Maxime, uh, Aida, do you have uh, some questions? Maxime? Oui, je suis en français alors. Oui. Les échanges, vous avez eu de nombreux échanges, c'est ce que vous disiez avec, euh, sur scène avec Kirsten, avec Avilash. Sur quoi portait, est-ce qu'il y avait des thèmes qui revenaient, des, des, sur quoi portaient les discussions que vous aviez entre vous pendant la course à la radio What happens on the ocean stays on the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It will be a short media conference. So, <laughs> no, of course, we had a lot of. Hello? Is it on? Is it on? Uh, we had a lot of things to talk about, and uh, most of it was, of course, the struggle about weather and stuff. And then there is many things which really stay on the ocean. Sorry, that's the answer. <laughs> what, what was the, the best moment of the race for you? Uh, probably the moment three hours ago when I came mm. into the channel. <laughs> <laughs> Did you expect this welcome here? Um, I tell you for real, actually, uh, I, I told you on the way here, I, I, I've, I've been thinking about all the different uh, possibilities to not complete this this, this race and I did never think about what's going to happen when I finish the race and uh, so there were no expectations and uh, I enjoyed it it was good not too big not too small all fine <laughs> and uh, as I asked you what was the the best moment what was the worst 
moment of this race for you? The worst day, the worst moment? The worst moments are when your mouth tries to be a keel. <laughs> <laughs> and I had it twice. twice. <laughs> did you, did you uh, write a notebook about your journey at sea? Well, I did write a logbook and it's a mix of a technical logbook and a personal logbook as well, or a diary and logbook, yeah. Did you, do you know what will you do of it later? Well, first I will hide it somewhere, I think. <laughs> 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 and then I'll probably get it out someday later. I don't know yet. No, uh, I, d I don't have any plan. There is a lovely team behind me that do a documentation. It's called Race to the Race. And uh, since they have been with me for a long time, I do not have the feeling that I have to do something at the moment, which is very joyful, actually, because I had to do a lot of things to keep going. <laughs> Uh, another question, were your sales good? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Sure? Yeah. All of them? All of them. Okay. Why? No, no. Just, <laughs> just you know. <laughs> <laughs> I had actually three different sale makers making my sales. Okay. Yeah. Uh, your, could, could you describe the essence of your planning and preparation? You know? Well, the essence of planning and preparation, um, I mean, the, the mass in the water thing, I did a lot of, of, uh, of things to the boat, especially inside the boat, uh, to keep it safe when it's going to be turned around, yeah. in case of a lockdown. Uh, I think that's the point. Uh, and I think you, you just have to watch the list of people dropping out and th those reasons why these people dropped out uh, were actually my main themes. It's uh, the self steering has to be bulletproof. The rig has to be bulletproof. It's not so important how good your sails are, as long as you have two masts or one in the sloop uh, and some canvas to hang up. It's it's, it's working somehow. Um, um, so the main thing was electricity, steering, and rigging. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. And uh, the whole experience now that it's over, do you think it's changed you at all? And if so, in what way? <laughs> I tell you, it changed me to on the way to the start already, uh, and in many different ways I couldn't explain in a, in a, in a short answer. Um. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard yeah, to say something. Yeah. Um, and, and what about um, the uh, the situation with? There'll be we've got a lot of people thinking about the two thousand twenty six GGR. You're, in my opinion, as an organizer, looking at the way you did it, uh, what I think I'm impressed, uh, I know I'm impressed, but what would your advice be to anyone contemplating doing what you've just achieved? <laughs> uh, that's, that's also, again, a bit of a hard question because it's a very long answer or, or a very short one. Uh, I think uh, possibly maybe it, uh, the, the short answer is stay yourself and do uh, uh, as you would do it and not copy others. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, I've seen many boats trying to copy the winner boat of the last race and, uh, and it's not about the boat or it's not about copying anybody's, even my, my way to do it is my way to do it and it probably won't work for somebody else. So it's, uh, uh, I think it's be yourself and, 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 and learn and go for it. and. and Make your uh, uh, the, the mo make out the most important things for you and go for them. Over. Yeah. And over. Yeah, over. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> the, uh, the shower time is coming soon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, okay. So I, I forget the I forget the reason that you decided to do the GGR, but it was back in 2015. <laughs> Uh, now that it's over, did it give you what you thought it would, uh, you know, when you first decided to do it? Was, was it really part of the dream that succeeded or did it change on the, you know, along the way? Well, it changed on the way and actually the, the dream which made me go for it uh, is a dream and probably a bit silly. <laughs> <laughs> And it just, you know, one day by day and, and go further, go further, come closer, yeah. come closer. And it changed a lot of things within myself, within myself and within my working and organizing and 
and communicating and everything. Yeah. <coughs> one final one. Are you happy that you did it? <laughs> of course. Uh, I just told my family that I'm very happy to have finished. Yeah. Because if I wouldn't have finished, I probably had to do it once more. <laughs> and I do not want to do it once more. You know? So I have a finished business here and I'm going home happy. Yeah. So you're really free now. You can do whatever you want from this moment. <laughs> Thank you very much for spending time with us. Merci Sébastien, directeur de course pour cette euh, Alors le temps de le temps le de temps, finalement. Voilà. Alors, de de official, time. Alors, official time, 249 jours, 17 heures, 42 minutes, 24 secondes, 249 days, 17 hours, uh, 42 minutes and 24 seconds. Uh, pour ce qui est du calcul uh, du fuel, um, tu as eu des fuites d'eau de mer. Michael a eu des fuites d'eau de mer dans son réservoir de fuel, donc il va falloir pomper séparer euh, l'eau de mer du fuel pour faire un calcul et on aura un calcul euh, en début de semaine voilà mais euh, Michael tu aimes bien la musique moi je vais te citer euh, Billy Ocean hein, vous l'avez bien nommé qui disait euh, when the going gets tough the tough gets going and that's what you did so congratulations for this thank well you done. very much I have one question okay. I have one question how, how many people have done it before me Uh, the GGR, there was only one, five, six, uh, seven, no, eight. No, I mean actually the solo non-stop uh, around the world sailing. I think there is something, 200 something people or what? Uh, it depends whether it stops or no stops. If you took your category solo without stopping, it's less than that. It's only, I, I have to check, 100 and something, that's all. 180 something. Yeah, okay. 118, something like that. Where the, do you check that? Uh, the um, Cape Hornets Association, and you're a brand new member. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> you can, <laughs> you'll be invited to the dinner, so well done. of the category you know, to solo non-stop unassisted and uh, yes not many 100 and, 100 and something yeah yeah I lost the guy yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay thank you yeah thank you very much yeah thank you very much yeah. Thank you. Thank you.